Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Rod has the night off. Before the Lincoln City Council today was the construction of the Malone Center's new facility. The center says the current building just isn't big enough. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto has our top story tonight. Veronica? Yeah, today, City Council members approved the sale of the property to the community center. The Malone Center will pay $1 for the land for its $20 million expansion project. The Malone Center plans to demolish the current 14,000 square foot building and replace it with a 52,000 square foot facility. This project is bigger than me, bigger than our employees. This is for the next 50 to 100 years. This is for our community. This is for impact. Every year, the Malone Center here in Lincoln serves over 1,000 children and families across our community. The community center is focused on eliminating multi-generational poverty, but it's since outgrown the current facility forcing officials to move programs to other areas of the city. Now we can do that at our facility. It's big enough to be able to house all of those things and not be scattered around the community. For, for our community to have, or the people that we serve to have a difficult time getting there. Mayor Lirian Gaylor Baird has said this project will enable the center to serve even more community members through its programs that promote health and wellness for Lincoln's children, mothers, and families. The new building will include office space, classrooms, a computer lab, conference rooms, a gymnasium, and a kitchen. We have the maternal wellness will actually be in our inside our building steps instead of being spaced out um, all across the city as well as our health and healing program, mental health programs, our out of school programs will increase uh, with the numbers and we are a STEM based found uh, focus as well as our preschool. Goodwin said he's confident they'll raise the money. The Malone Center got a $1.5 million grant and has raised another $2.5 million so far. And demolition is expected to begin by spring of next year, with the new building opening by the end of 2025. For more on this story, go to calcantv.com. Veronica, thank you very much for our top story tonight.